Here is how you look good every single day and look polished every single day based off of my wardrobe, which is great for that individual and if you are aiming for one kind of thing, I am all about it. However, as someone who definitely is not like that, who needs a lot of variety in their life, I find that going for this old school, old money trend is not gonna be for me. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to be elegant every single day. Number one is to keep it somewhat conservative. I'm not saying you can't show skin. I'm not saying you can't be sexy. I'm not saying you can't wear like these gorgeous tight dresses. What I'm saying is make sure that you are bringing a level of conservatism to your clothing. I think that if you go for really tight dresses, maybe have it be high neck. If you're going to be showing a lot of leg, have everything else covered. I like to have one part of my body be kind of sexy. Right now, I'm wearing this, so none of me is particularly sexy, but I find that when I do wanna have those very sexy moments, I wanna wear something conservative, but also very stunning. I find that those kind of conservative looks, they look really good long-term. I like to go for more conservative outfits. I like to go for more conservative cuts. I really recommend maybe finding that. Number two is to keep everything clean and maintained. I know this is a really stupid, simple, yeah, we know that kind of advice. However, I have put on things and I feel a lot better if I know that my outfit has been steamed. I feel better carrying around a Tide pen because I love a good glass of red wine, but I also am very clumsy. And I take my shoes to the cobbler every single year just to be like, fix them instead of replacing them. Uh, just make sure everything is clean and polished and be really mindful of when you put things on. You don't exactly need to be boring with it, but if you're going to rock something and you're gonna be very bold and out there, or you're gonna wear an amazing outfit you're excited about, just make sure that it looks well polished. Those small details actually have a huge impact. That takes me to my next point, is to think of the small details, which is why I am really excited to be partnering with Lindry on this. I am wearing gold jewelry by them. It's insane how many people think that my jewelry is really expensive. I have a colleague who was like, are you just made of money? You're wearing pearls and gold every single day. Um, I'm not, I love that, but I'm not. <laughs> and I love Lindry for the fact that it is a very affordable price point. It's sustainably made and it's a very feminist driven company. I wear these earrings almost every single day. You're gonna find them in a majority of my videos and people compliment me on them all the time. I also think when it comes to jewelry, it should be very personalized. Right now I am actually wearing a pendant of the gemstone, I think it's an opal. Opal, which is the monthly stone or the birthstone. It is my anniversary, which is why I wear it. I also wear a lot of mother of pearl, which is very apparent from my ring and my earrings. I love the pearl because it reminds me of my mom and her family in the Philippines. I think that it's so chic, it's so beautiful. They're fantastic pieces. They're proof that you can have a company that treat people well, that make quality products, and that care about the environment. These are products that you buy once and you take care of them and you do not throw them away. So I highly recommend checking them out, but you have to think of the small details of your outfit. Make sure that things look good when all put together. Many of you know I've partnered with Linter before, but that's only because I genuinely love their products. Everything I've ever gotten from them has been extremely high quality and has lasted me really through thick and thin. I wear it to the gym on accident when I forget to take it off and I have not seen an ounce of tarnish at all. I really do love this company from the fact that it is a female-led company that's really transparent and sustainably driven. They use a lot of recycled materials, which is really important to me that I am not making a huge environmental negative impact. And so the fact that they are very environmentally friendly and feminist-led makes me really excited to be partnering with them. They are going to be having a sale. My discount code is gonna be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and let's get back to the tips. Next is to really consider shoes. So. Obviously, I love shoes, but when it comes to shoes, it can really make or break an outfit. So for me, my go-to elegant shoes when I want to elevate an outfit that's gonna be a pointed heel, those are also gonna be shoes that are very well maintained, that they don't have any scuff marks, that have been to a cobbler to be rehealed, that have new soles on them just to make sure they look good every day. And that does not mean when you get a pair of shoes, if you scuff them, you should throw them away. Just 
spend a little bit of time maintaining your shoes and it's going to make a huge difference. But swapping a sandal for a pointed heel is going to take your outfit from very casual, but cute, but casual, to very elegant and stunning. And that's really what I'm going for in my day-to-day -day life a little bit more. Next is to invest in your basics. The bulk of your closet should be your daily clothing and the things that you should invest the most amount of money on and feel good every single day are your basics. You're gonna wear them every day. You should have them be the best things in your wardrobe. The things that you spend the most amount of money on are the things you should wear the most. So when it comes to basics, make sure that that's where you're putting a lot of your energy. There's something to be said about a really crisp white t-shirt that is not thin or see-through or has any stains that still looks very chic and beautiful, but it's also, it's such a small detail. Those small details make a huge difference, like I said on the think of the small details bit, but make sure that your basics are just on point. If you look at outfits on Pinterest or people who are wearing nothing but basics, but all those basics look fantastic and good on them and well thought out put together, then you have amazing outfits and a very well-rounded wardrobe. For me, a good pair of basics are jeans that fit really well, tailored trousers, blazers, and perfectly white t-shirts. Next is to aim towards a neutral color palette. You can still be elegant and stunning and timeless wearing bold colors. I love the fact that Red right now is kind of an accent color that people are obsessed with. I think it's so cute and beautiful, but neutrals are going to be a little bit better when it comes to looking elegant and looking put together on a daily basis. It's going to make getting easier ready. However, if you are someone who likes a good pop of color, I highly encourage you to throw that in there. Next is to stop thinking about your fancy pieces as something you don't get to use every day. Listen here. You know who treated the Birkin bag like garbage? Jane freaking Birkin, because she made it an everyday piece. There's something to be said about taking your very elegant, your very fancy pieces of clothing and then just wearing them on a daily basis. It just adds such a special touch to life. You shouldn't feel like you shouldn't have to use your things. You're not trying to curate a museum or a collection of clothing you can't wear. You are trying to look and feel good every single day with your wardrobe. So take your special pieces, wear them every day. I would have not worn these pieces on a regular basis had I not had a lot of confidence and a lot of and feel really secure in myself and my fashion. Just wear the cute things and the accessories and the expensive things you own. Wear them on a regular basis. That's where the bulk of your money should go to your daily wardrobe. I know I said that invest in your basics, but make sure that the things that feel special to you are the things that you wear on a daily basis. Next is to invest in some tailoring. Have a little bit of tailoring, a touch of tailoring, if you will. This is a photo of me wearing a t-shirt and a baseball cap, but I'm also pairing it with a pair of wool trousers that makes it look way more polished than I would have with a pair of jeans. Here's another photo of me wearing jeans and a t-shirt, but I decided to throw a pea coat on top of it that was really structured, that made me feel really cute, and it is just a perfect outfit, in my opinion, to wear to, wear to anything. It just makes you look really chic. It makes you look a little bit more expensive. It makes you look like you're just casually looking that good on a daily basis. A touch of tailoring is just the best way to elevate your outfit a little bit, but don't go too tailored. I kind of feel like there's something artificial about too, wearing too much tailoring unless you are a person who exclusively wears tailoring. Don't force yourself into it. Just add a touch of it. Next is to not worry about brands or brand names. Don't feel like you have to wear a certain t-shirt or a certain trend just because you're seeing it all over Pinterest. I know, I've been influenced and I've done it but you are not a billboard, you are a human who deserves just the best outfit ever that feels very true to yourself. Do not feel obligated to follow trends, especially ones that don't fit you. Again, you want to not feel artificial in your clothing. Next is to have your clothes work for you. Meaning, if you get something and you're gonna buy it, you're gonna take home a piece, make sure it does 100% feel right in the fit. So for me, I take a lot of clothes to a tailor. It just makes a huge difference. Having an almost bespoke closet that you have curated and have tailored and adjusted to you instead of something that's just instantly ready to wear is a fantastic way to just have a much more elevated wardrobe. If you have skirts, jeans, blazers, blouses, if you can find a way to get them altered to fit your body and just everything looks like it was made for you, personally, 
that's going to make you look way more elevated than buying what is considered elevated, elegant outfits that don't really fit you properly. Last tip, and I feel like such a hypocrite saying this one because I'm going through the retinol uglies, but the last tip is to consider everything else. That means make sure that your hair is in place. If you're someone with messy hair and you want messy hair, make sure your hair kind of looks like it was intentionally messy. Or if you are someone who needs to have their nails done all the time, having really maintained nails is a really good way to look polished on a daily basis. I don't care about that. I don't really believe in doing things I can't maintain. So if I'm going to do a really extreme hairstyle, I need it to last all day, and I need to be able to put dry shampoo in it and move on. Make sure that it, it's gonna work for you. Everyone should feel elegant and chic on a daily basis, and I hope you guys found this video helpful at all. If you found it helpful, please let me know. If you didn't, please let me know. Um, I'm open to criticism and feedback. It's not gonna hurt my feelings, except for yes it is. It's fine, I'm a human. <laughs> But feeling elegant on a daily basis should not be a luxury for a few. It is meant for everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.